Good morning, it is The Business Show and you are watching live with me, Calv K from Quack Talks, the founder and the host of The Business Show. I never forgot the name of it then, The Business Show. If you are watching live, please jump in the comments and say good morning to me. And if you are watching on replay, please put hashtag replay in the comments so I like to know who stalks me. I must say that every day. And if you've not checked out the YouTube channel by now, look, I did it smooth today. It's there at Quack Talks and you will find everything. And it is bloody fabulous. Remember, we are now in season two of the business show and I've had a great array of guests already, I've had quite a lot of new faces and I definitely can't wait to bring today's on because it's going to be bloody fabulous, it's going to be bloody fabulous, that's all I can say, what would you expect from anything else of mine, but yes, so like I said, if you are watching live, please jump in and remember you can share this far and wide right now from my Facebook page, uh, Quack Talk, Business Coach and Mentor, you can share it wherever and if you are watching this on YouTube, subscribe, you know, I've got to say that, I forget to say it, subscribe, why not, make my life easier. Today, is moving day, people. I mentioned yesterday um, that it's thanks to you lovely people that watch the show and everything else going on that I'm able to get my lovely city centre apartment and I move in today. So you cannot see the mess around me. I won't have any smoke and mirrors. There is a lot of mess around me because it's all packed and it's all a bit everywhere. So I can't wait for today. It's going to be a bloody good day. It is. Good morning, Tanya. Hope you are well, my lovely. Honestly, the regular on the show. Honestly, every morning. Every morning. I swear I'm part of your morning routine. Honestly, it's fabulous. So yes, today, today I'm finally moving. So as of hopefully next week, you're going to have a decent like background. You're going to have my fancy lights back again and everything. And I really, really can't wait to be in Quack Towers where the show is going to be. However, today with no delay, I am going to bring today's guest on. So today's guest, we don't really know how we came across each other. I think I found him on TikTok, then I found him on Instagram. Got chatting. It's been a good journey. And um, so today I'm bringing on Callum Church, who is a 20 year old uh, guy who is the host of the Happy Days podcast with Callum Church. And it's going to be bloody fabulous. It really, really is. His self development journey is going to be amazing. And um, talking about that and things like that at such a young age. I'm only 25. So, you know, I'm not dead yet. But discovering that at the age of 20 is a fucking awesome thing. So, with no further ado, I will bring on, with the internet hopefully being kind, good morning, Callum. Hello, good morning. <laughs> oh my god, it's Callum and Callum. I've actually only just processed that. Yeah, shame you can't quite spell it right, though. That's the only thing, isn't it? Callum with a K. Interesting. Never seen that before. <laughs> really? No. No, uh, only ever with a C. My mum's severely dyslexic. I'm actually called Josh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're in for. This is what you're in for. Um, look, so before we dive in and things like that, Callum, can you just tell us who you are and what you do? Yeah, so I'm Callum. Uh, as you say, I run a podcast called Happy Days with Callum Church. It's a self-development podcast which is focused primarily at young people in which we talk about how can we use self-development in order to live happy, fulfilled lives because that's everything which people want, right? Happy, fulfilled life. So that's kind of what I talk about. And it, it covers, as self-development is so vast, it covers all sorts of areas from entrepreneurship, spirituality, physical and mental development, all kinds of stuff. So um, yeah, I just get get guests on as well as a few solo episodes where I talk by myself about things that are currently on my mind and yeah I share that with my wonderful audience so that's kind of what I do yeah see I think that's awesome because you are 20 aren't you yeah yeah so when did you start the self-development self-improvement actually sorting your shit out when did you start yeah uh, it's funny because I think the more people I speak to on the podcast it seems to be that a lot of their own self-development and what sort of kick-started their success or growth, whatever that be, um, tends to be from a place of struggle, right? So a few years ago, when I was going through college, I feel like the education system messed me up a little bit and didn't prep me pr properly <laughs> yeah, for, for the real world, you know? Yeah. Uh, and that caused a lot of anxiety and stuff like that. So I, str I struggled with a few mental health problems. So I'd say it probably started there. But what really woke me up to self-development probably came through lockdown actually which is yeah. interesting because it's the same for a lot of people i think lockdown mm. was a was a time for reflection um and instead of worrying about all the external when we all got locked up a lot of people started looking at the internal and sort of searching within um so i'd say that's where the the fire truly started burning for me for a passion of growth and development yeah no, you're completely right. So, you know, in particular, through all the lockdowns with me really focusing on my business, because I was like, this is it. I've got a chance where I can't have to, like you're saying, I don't have to worry about anything external. I can focus on my business because that's part of like me. But then I'd say it was possibly the last lockdown that we're kind of coming out of, slash the lockdown before that. I really started thinking, shit, 
I'm 25 now. All I've done in my early 20s is build my business, which is great. I love it. It's everything I've wanted to do. But the one thing I've not really looked at is myself. Mm. And like, it was so key. And it was in that moment, you know, I might be getting this apartment now, but my plan is to actually move to another city by the end of the year. That's my plan because actually I've never, I didn't go to university. You know, education was not for me at all. Like I didn't go to university. So I've not been able to explore another city or anything like that. Like I've not had that. And is it a bit of FOMO? Probably. But at Mm. the same time, it's one of them where I I don't know what it's like or what I'm capable of until Mm. I do it. And it sounds like obviously that's what you've gone through as well. Like you say, many people have through COVID and lockdown. So when you say in college, would you say that it started around the age of like 16 then? Is that when everything yeah. kind of started for you and struggling and then realising you need to sort your stuff out around 16? Yeah, for sure. I mean, in in that time, I think when you hit, um, not rock bottom, but you know, when you hit a low and, and, and you feel like you need to start sorting things out and, and sort your shit out, you know, it's um, it, it acts almost like a springboard into uh, success, you know. And, and that can be small amounts of success and that it's little bits of growth every day. Or that could be big success on a large scale. Obviously, I'm not quite there yet, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> you get there. No, you will get there. You will get there. But so would you, honestly, this stuff like proper, doesn't trigger me. I get my cert box out of it. Because one yeah. of the things that I really scream about is the kind of external, the external pressures of society at the mm-hmm. minute on you know, like I said, if we're based on we're roughly the same age, 20, 25, mm. on us, I've said this to a couple of people, and it's not their fault, but it's because it was drilled into their generation of a few older people from their one above them, and they had their own external pressures. Mm. But, you know, we I've just got an apartment. I've had people going, why are you not buying? Like, because you bought a house when it was worth £70,000. It's now worth 750000 You know, look at the price of when you bought a house to when I can buy one. Like, uh, uh oh, right, okay, and I'm like, for something half decent, and so on and so on. Do you think a lot of them external pressures, for example, that was just one example, mm. are some of the things that, you know, I know you're saying more well, educated on a lot of these type of things in school, well, at all, in schools mm. and colleges and things like that. Do you think that's the big thing that's missing for a lot of people our age? Yeah, I, I, I honestly do. I think um, it's funny how many people are out there that don't actually focus on their growth, you know? People sort of go through life just sort of experiencing it and not necessarily chasing improvement, yeah. chasing growth, chasing the better, you know? Which is, which is a funny thing, because that, is that not wholly the point of living and growing and growing up and being a being a person, just trying to, you know, make your way and stuff? I, I, I think growth is massive in terms of the happiness and the fulfillment of a person and I think it's massive in terms of achieving whether you want to achieve or not in your life you know it's it's up to them it's subjective but I want to achieve and I think most people want to achieve right so I think we have to push ourselves into growing and we have to push ourselves into areas of discomfort and get uncomfortable in order to reap the benefits which is um which is difficult to do you know, because do- people don't, we are comfort seeking beings as humans. We don't like to be d- uncomfortable or in discomfort, but you have to be in order to grow. You know, you have to go out and, you know, exercise your muscles and, and, and work really hard to find that hypertrophy. In yeah. some ways, you have to um, do the difficult things in order to live an easier life. Yeah. You know, Wh- whether that be, you know, it can be difficult to practice good financial habits, you know, and, and educate yourself in in these sorts of areas but if you don't do that you're guaranteed a hard life anyway because you'll struggle financially if you don't do that and that, see that this is what i love about self-development is that it's so vast it covers many areas and there's loads of different places financial socially physically mentally like i said all sorts of areas in which we can improve so um no. yeah it, 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 it's a shame that people aren't educated on this stuff which i yeah. suppose is what i'm trying to do with the podcast yeah see that's why i love it like I'm working through one at the minute. I've listened to obviously your snippets and things on your social media. Work mm. through one podcast because ADHD does not let me listen to several podcasts at once. <laughs> it just does yeah. not let me do it. So that's why I listen to one at a minute. Then I'll start obviously looking into yours into more depth and things. But what are even the snippets and things? It's like you're so right. And I think a lot of the time, if once again, if we kind of base it on our generation, I know it's not just everyone, everyone, no matter how fucking old you are, everyone has room for growth everyone mm, yeah but the mistake the word growth for just living mm. that's the difference 
oh, well, I'm getting older. So now I've got to pay bills. Yeah, I've grown. I'm an adult. Right. Yeah, that's natural. That's life. You know, that, mm. that you've got to do that shit. That's the world. Mm. You haven't been, you haven't found your fulfillment. You haven't found what your spark is. You haven't found what f- feeds your soul. You haven't found all those things. And I was actually speaking to someone about this yesterday. It was another coach who was just bouncing a couple of ideas. And she said, the thing that a lot of people get wrong is they don't have the foundations. Mm. And that, that's, that's the thing. And that's fine. Don't worry about having the foundations right now, but understand that at some point, it's a, it's an amazing thing to, to get them. You know, everyone needs their foundations. Because the best way to explain it is like, um, you learn this when working in hospitality, when you're trying to carry more plates. And I use it a lot of the time for different things. You can't carry something on one finger, right? Mm. You can't carry something on two. But when you've got three, you can hold it. Mm. So when you get the foundations right, everything goes stable. Just yeah. not sponsored by Apple, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's all them simple things. So what would you say, obviously, when you started going on your development journey and things like that, what did you, I don't want to say just look at, but what did you look at or attack or start sorting out first? What did you go with first? Um, I think habits is a big one. I think habits is something which is uh, not really appreciated enough by by people and how powerful they can be. I don't know if you've read uh, Atomic Habits, but this is a book, uh, it's by James Clear. It's, it's a book which I read quite early in my self-development journey. And um, just the the power of habit is incredible. It's, it, it's the power of compound and compounding. If we can do habits every single day, we will develop mm. on an exponential level because if you can get 1% better for a whole year, you end up something like 39 times better than when you first started. That's the power of habit, you know? So that, that was the first thing which I which I kind of focused on. I, I, it's funny because self-development is such a very personal experience. It's self-development for a reason. It's the development of yeah. the self. And, you know, it, it's gonna be different for everyone. In my, in my experience, it was habits which led on to, I mean, I, God knows, I can't even remember to be honest, but yeah. I, I think what self-development is for me is just the continuous, uh desire to grow every single day you know it's it's that one percent better every single day that you kind of go for so that could be anything you know self-development like i say could be physically developing yourself it could be bodybuilding or something it could be uh you know training to run a marathon or it could be overcoming mental health issues it could be developing a really strong mindset or like i said it could be financial you know it's so vast it's it's different for everyone but habits was where I where I focused because I think, you know, habits you can apply them anywhere in order to to improve. You know. Completely right because once again, when I was focusing on myself, um, the things I didn't have right when we talked about the foundations was actually some of them, and mm. it, it you know it it didn't take me a while to realize it, but it was more the fact of in life now you ever expect social media or something like that to tell you how to do it, but like you're saying, when it's you and it's yourself everyone is different you've got to figure out your own way of doing it and with you speaking about habits the biggest tip someone gave me the way it don't matter what the habit you want to get into you want to drink more water do you want to remember to water your plants you know what what habit do you want to get into i was like okay i know a couple went start with one just start Mm. tracking it just start tracking it that's all you need to do every day whether it's an app on your phone a chart on your wall a post-it note however you want to track it just track the habit because you know once you've done it and you've filled that little box in or you've ticked it or you've made a note or you've done whatever, you're tracking your habit and you'll get into the habit of doing it. I think it statistically says it takes around two weeks to get into a habit. I think mm. I think that's the, I think that's the rough statistics. I don't want to take that as gospel. But it roughly takes about two weeks to naturally start getting something embedded in your brain. You get into the routine of doing it. Mm. And it's the same of anything. You know, someone said about fitness. I went, look, you can go to the gym. You can do hit sessions. If you've not been to the gym in six years... Hit session is going to fucking kill you. Yeah. You know, don't worry about ju- go diving straight. Do it if you want to. Don't mm. worry about that though. Maybe go and just start on the stair, the stairmaster. Start on the treadmill. Mm. Just start. That's that's all you need to do. And yeah. that's when it came to me. You know, on a personal note, my I, my self development really started not just obviously like I said COVID, but in particular when it really started, uh, my dad hit rock bottom, and I didn't realize how much it affected myself. Mm. That's the difference. You know, everyone was going, oh, how, how are you? How are you? I was like, it's not about me. It's about him. It's not about me. It's about him. One person went, I know how he is. How are you? Mm. So well, I'm fucking shit, to be honest. <laughs> I can tell because you run a business. I can see it's doing shit and all this other stuff. 
So I know exactly what you mean. And starting with habits, like you're saying, everyone's different. That might not be for other people, but I was the exact same because once again, for me, I didn't have them foundations, which is weeks. I was literally talking about this yesterday. I didn't have the foundations even remotely in place and I needed to start from the basics. Yeah. So let's, let's bounce back, back to the podcast. So the podcast, what made you start that? What made you want to get into it? Is it spreading the word? Is it sharing your story, sharing other people's? What got you into doing the podcast? I, I guess it was kind of just started off just documenting my journey and, and just sort of teaching people what I taught myself or, or learnt myself along the way. And it sort of developed into, I mean, I started off just doing solo episodes just by itself. And then I started incorporating guest episodes into it. I do it every Tuesday and Thursday. So Tuesdays is solo, Thursdays is with a guest. Yeah. And um, I, I, you know, yeah, it, it, it was documenting my journey, but then I started getting these guests on and, and I, I started to find that I had a real passion for just talking to people. You know, just just talking to people, especially about these subjects, because I don't think we really have these kinds of conversations enough. And they're certainly important conversations. So then it started, it, then through getting the guests on, it started to become a bit of a mission to try and get the UK talking about these things more. Yeah. You know, I've, I've, I've recently just sort of um, put together a bit of a mastermind group with a bunch of young lads like myself that are on TikTok talking about self-development, whether that be entrepreneurship, whether that be the spiritual all sorts yeah. of areas um and we we're sort of in the in the process of set, setting something up in which we want to try and you know uh help the uk to evolve into uh talking about personal development a little bit more and, and self-development and helping us to grow because it's it's a big scene in the us you know and they talk really openly about it but over here it's almost a bit um sometimes we're too british off, about it we're too yeah, british I'm, <laughs> sometimes you come off a little bit arrogant when you talk about it yeah. or, or or something like that so i, I, think I need really... development i need to work on myself like yeah. what do you mean? no no i don't uh, yeah i know exactly what you mean 100 percent. yeah so so, that, so that's sort of what it is now it's sort of just trying to create a community of people who are focused on their own development but also yeah. trying to grow that community so that we really make some noise in the UK scene and you know get people talking about these things because as I say it's really important self-development has changed my life and I hope that through doing the podcast having these conversations um that we can you know change yeah. more people's lives and impact a lot more people on a positive level yeah see I love that and I think you're completely right like kind of giving an example I think a lot of the times when these conversations do happen, if you're not into that kind of thing, it'll probably be you, two of the mates, and you were sat having a few drinks in your friend's back garden. Mm. Like, and you'll end up just talking about life and shit because you're mates, you trust each other. And you talk about this stuff, but that's all you do. You just talk about it. And it's mm. like, oh yeah, I want to do this. I want to get into that. Oh, this has started slacking, you know, but and they start talking about it and it's and it's working on them bits. And it's like, okay, you've had that conversation. Now we need to put that into action. But mm. because you're you're like, oh, I was just chilling, my mates are just chatting shit. And it's like, no, you want. If you're talking about it, you obviously want to do it. You obviously think about it. You mm. know, even on a subconscious level, you're thinking about it. So for you, what would what would show you that the podcast has done its job? Is it one person came mm. to you at any point in your life and said, I listen to your podcast, I've done this because of you? What is what does the podcast actually entail for you? Other mm. than educating people, what do you want from it? Mm. Well, that's the, that's the thing with growth. There's, um, like you said earlier, there's never really ever an end point. I I find it really frustrating when people used to ask me, well, wait, wait, where do you want to be in five years? You know, what's your ten year plan?" It's it's like I really yeah. don't know. You know, for the podcast, what would success be for the podcast? It would just be impacting people in a positive way. You know, for me, what matters most to me, it's not the number of listeners or anything like that. I mean, that's awesome. But what where I truly find the most fulfillment with what I do. Is when I get the messages. I get all I, I get all the direct messages from people saying, "Hey, Callum, listen to this episode. It was awesome. Really got me thinking." Or, "Hey, Callum, this episode really impacted me," or something like that. You know, or, or you get the you get the comments on TikTok that say, "You know, you've got such a way with words. Love this man. You know, thank you for yeah. for sharing and these kinds of things." Because that's when I know that what I do has impacted someone. You know. Um, and look, I don't, I don't make any money from the podcast right now. It's purely something out of my own um, passion and love for growth and 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 sharing positivity and and all the positive vibes and stuff. So it's it, yeah, I, I 
what would success be? Yeah, it would be just impacting as many people in a positive way as possible. Wherever that is, I'm not sure, you know, because it's always a, yeah. the goalposts are always moving, you know, with success. Yeah. You never quite get there, you know, or or when you do get there, there's always another another thing to go after, you know. So yeah. it's um j- just trying to get as many people on board, get the UK talking about self-development and, um, yeah, just impact people positively. Yeah. See, I think I think when anyone passionately and wants to goes on a self-development journey, you know, they're not just doing it because the mates told them to. Because if you don't want to do it, you know, I mean, like, even when you're doing it, if you don't want to do it, you need to address that mindset first. Like, mm, why yeah. do you not want to do this? But secondly, I think, or should I say, I know once you start on a self-development journey, you never stop mm, because yeah. you've discovered, like... I don't want to say like the key to life, but the key to your own, like you're saying, your own success is your self-development and yeah. you've discovered the key to it. And you're like, shit, this stuff's powerful. Mm. You know, this is so powerful because I, I, I can't fight this. I've discovered what makes me the best version of me and why would I ever stop that? And you never will. Yeah. And it's so important for people to understand that. And, mm. you know, it's, the, the thing that I said that I want to reiterate is, if you are on a self-development journey or you've gone on an online course to learn how to do it and things like this, and you're doing it and you don't want to, you need to address that first because mm. you're already not wanting to be the best version of yourself. Mm. Maybe you're scared of it. Maybe you sc- be scared of it. Fuck me. Like, be petrified mm. of it. Like, honestly, it's great. That's the, that's the thing. Sometimes being some, being scared of doing something, sometimes that's an indication of the fact that you have to do it. You know, if you're scared of it, if it's outside your comfort zone, that's new to you you know that's something which we should yeah. absolutely explore you know so if it scares you maybe that's not something that's telling you not to do it maybe that's something that's telling you to do it and go explore that because you might find that you ha- you have a massive passion for these things but you'll never know if you don't get outside your comfort zone and start putting it into practice you know that's another mm. element of self-development is expanding your comfort zone you know because yeah. There's so much to the world. There's the, the world is a beautiful place. There's so much out there to go see, enjoy, and do, and develop, and practice, or whatever it is. Um, but so many people hold themselves back from doing that because it's outside of their comfort zone, and they haven't necessarily done it before. You know, yeah. and, and this is this goes back to mindset a little bit. It's um, you know, one of the most important things in a in a self development journey is to change the mind your mindset into one which encourages fear and encourages the uncomfortable because that's no, that's where you know you're growing and that's every moment that you spend in discomfort is a moment in which you're growing so if you're scared of it and you don't want to do it push yourself into it give it a go give it a try and you might find that you love it you know yeah you so honestly you, it's like you read my mind but it's on what you said about you know, people going, where do you want to be in five years? Where do you want to be in 10 years? I get asked this now in business. You know, I, I get asked this now. Where do you want to be in five years? My response is living. Mm. That's it. Like, yeah. where do you want to be? Like, living. That's all I want. And it's like, I've started changing my mindset on as well. Um, people going, oh, how are you? And I go, unstoppable. I'm yeah. unstoppable. <laughs> like, that, that's what I am. I'm unstoppable. Yeah. All right. It's a bit extreme. I go, yeah, it fucking is. Like, I'm unstoppable. That's what I fucking am. Like, honestly, yeah. and, it, and it go to them and go, yeah, I'm all right. I'm like, that, there you go. Right. Come on. Positive attitude, people. What are you? And it's like, I said that to a client the other day that had their head up their ass a bit. Don't mind saying that. And um, they started laughing afterwards and they went, I'll start doing that. It's like, good. Straight yeah. away. You've taken that on board and they're going to do it. But Callum, look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that up one more time. So what? tell us about the recent episode of your podcast for people to go and listen to. Awesome. So... There's a brand new episode out today. It's with a man called Simon Squibb. He, if you don't know who Simon is, he's an angel investor. He's built companies, he's sold companies, and out and now he uh, he basically helps other people to do the same. He wants to get as many people inv- involved in entrepreneurship and all these kinds of things because he's he's just uh, it's something he's really passionate about and he sees entrepreneurship as the future. You know, um, I won't reveal too much more because that's for people to listen to yeah. and find out about. But genuinely, Simon is a highly successful man. And we kind of break down how he's got there and how he helps other people to do the same. Um, he's really awesome. Caught up with him for a coffee the other day. And um, personally, he's helped me in waves um, yeah. myself in my own journey. So I know that this episode is going to be super, super powerful and um, impactful for people as well. Um, 
and yeah so go check it out it's really cool yeah love it and then last thing to finish on what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given best piece of advice i've ever been given caught you off guard with that one didn't i yeah no nah, it's um follow your heart follow your heart because um i think people get too wrapped up in their rational thinking brains and i think sometimes we need to think with our hearts um which sort of gets into the spiritual a little bit more and people might think what the bloody hell are you talking about right but it's 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 when we follow our hearts and just follow our our insight and our own feeling in which we find the best things in life so something might absolutely terrify you but there's something in your heart that's telling you maybe this is something to explore if you follow your heart you'll find success or what you're looking for in that place it's funny how we um you know, when, when we do follow our hearts, the best things happen. So that's what I'd say. Um, I, I wouldn't tie it too much to self-development um, because, that yeah. I, I mean, that can help in everywhere in life. You know, just yeah. follow your heart. You do you. We're all individuals at the end, end of the day. And individuality and our own, you know, development or experience of life is something that we all need to pursue, I think. Um, and I think that's that's an awesome thing. So, yeah, follow your heart. <laughs> I like that. I really like that. Look, Callum, thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm going to kick you backstage. Don't rush off straight away. I'll talk to you in a minute. Um, and yeah, thanks for coming on. Sure thing. Thank you so much for having Bye. me, man. Oh, I love him. And I told you, I had a new guest. None of you knew and that he was amazing. So fucking told you. So there you go, people. You have been watching The Business Show with me and Callum Church. Honestly, make sure you go check out the podcast, Happy Days with Callum Church. Go, go check it out. And if you are on YouTube, remember, go check this out as well. Go find every replay um, of his podcast and go listen to them. So you've been watching The Business Show with me, Callum McKay. And I'm not here tomorrow because I'm moving house. It's exciting. I'm moving house. So make sure you tune in next week um, where I've got a fabulous array of guests again. And remember, in the words of Manana, if you can't be good, be careful. If you can't be careful, don't get caught.